So over the last couple of months, I've been heavily focusing on using Bricks Builder to build all my WordPress websites. But I was like, what? how does everyone else do it? I haven't played around with any other builder or full site editor or block based theme for pretty much all the time since I started using Bricks Builder. So over the last couple of weeks, I actually rebuilt my entire website using Generate Press. I gave Cadence a go. I tried GreenShift and I ultimately have rebuilt my website a third time using Quickly. And as part of the process, I came across their grid editor and I want to show you how their grid editor works and how I use it on my website to create a somewhat unique layout. So here we are on my new homepage that is built using Quickly. And if we come down here, this is what we're going to be recreating today. So it looks pretty, you know, it's pretty basic. You have one column over here that's maybe a third. And maybe you have another column over here that's two thirds. And then maybe you have a column here, a column here, and they stack on top of each other there. Or maybe you have a third here and then another third there, and another third there. There's probably a lot of ways to build this layout here. But when we collapse this down to the tablet version, and I pull this in, this now goes 50%, this is 50%, and then the other two stack under there. And then if we go down to the mobile, they all stack onto the one column. But it was this tablet view, if we come up to here, that I was curious how I would create that in quickly. And so after a bit of playing around, I wanna show you how I use a grid editor to create this layout very easily. And again, this is a very unique feature that I haven't really seen in any other page builders. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how this works. So here I am in a page that I've created for today's video to recreate that grid. Now there's gonna be a couple of things that I do in this video that are quickly specific. So I'm gonna try and explain them as much as I can without detracting from the ultimate goal here of just explaining the grid builder. But we do need to know a little bit about how the quickly interface works to be able to go forward. So the first thing is that in the editor here, if we go up and click on here, this is the list view that you normally get in the block editor. We won't be using this because quickly has its own version. So if we turn that off, and then come over here and click on this icon here, we have what they call their navigator. The next thing that I need to point out is that if we click to add blocks, Quickly has its own blocks and they have an icon on the top right hand corner that's a Quickly logo. So that lets you know which is a Quickly block and which is one registered by another plugin or WordPress itself. So for example, if we search for image, this is the WordPress block and then this is Quickly's version. We can see it has the icon here. So as we go through today's video, we will be using Quickly's versions of blocks and the reason that you want to do that is that by adding a quickly block instead of another block, right? So this is a quickly image block. We can come up to here and click on quickly. And now in the blocks inspector, we can edit the settings related to this block again, because it's a quickly block. So obviously quickly settings can affect that block. So with that said, I don't think we need to go into any more detail in terms of how quickly works to be able to show you how the grid editor works. Now I'm going to go ahead and just remove this. So I'll go delete. And let's start to build this grid. So the first thing we want to add is a section. So here I'll add the section. And then inside this section, we need to add columns. Now to add things in quickly inside of another element, you can click over here on the plus or you can hover on it. And then you can select one of the common ones. So I could add a heading into there by clicking on that. Another option is you can click on this icon here. So it sort of mimics something dropping into something. So if we have the selection here for the section, I click here, we're sort of dropping something into the section. I could add the heading in there. And now it's added into the section. A third way that you can add stuff is by going over to here and go right click and then insert. And then you could select the heading from up there. More often than not, when I was rebuilding my website, I just found that I just come over to here and right click most of the time. Because again, if I right click over to here and then I insert something like a heading and I say my heading and then I add a paragraph and then maybe I want to add a button and I add that in there. I say, click me. And then I go over here and apply one of my global CSS classes. So I go add class, search for my button class and apply that there. If now I decide I need to wrap that, I'll usually just right click here and go wrap and then go div. And then I drag everything into there. So I'm just so used to right clicking over here. So you, if you are to go ahead and give quickly a go after watching today's video or in the future at some time, uh, it's worth noting that right clicking worked best for me. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to delete that. Let's focus on building the grid by inserting our columns. So here I'm just gonna go right click and then insert and then two columns. And you might think that we'll create one that's one third and then two thirds, which is sort of what this looks like. Or again, we could create ones that are thirds each, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a full width one here. So now inside of our columns block, we have one column and this behind the scenes is using CSS grid. So if we wanted to, we could add more columns in here 
So think of these as columns. This is like one, two, three, four, five. So we need to add five columns in here. So to do that, I'll click on my columns parent. And then over here in the grid editor, this is where we can add them. So I'm gonna click add column up here and I'll go one, two, three, four. And if I go down, now we have five columns or grid items inside of this main column block. Now, if I go up the top here, now that we've got our columns in there, i.e. grid items, we can set our fractions, which is across the horizontal axis, how do we want to divide this? So we're gonna divide this into three, so thirds. And then down here, we can come and drag this over here, drag this over there, and then we could move this over there. And then down here, we can move this there. And then this first column is going to go all the way down. So now we've recreated this grid like this. So now all we need to do is pop our content into here. So let's go ahead and inside of here, I'll right click and go insert, and then we'll add our heading. And I'll call this my tools, and then I'll copy this text, and then we'll add a paragraph, paste that in there, and then we'll add a button and we'll put that there. And I'll just say click me, and I will apply my global CSS class of button and add that there. Now on the column, if we go back to my global CSS classes, I've created a class called box. So I'll just apply that. And if I click on my global CSS class, you can see that here under layout, it's a flex, flex direction column. It has some row gap under the design tab. It has a background of the sand color under margin and padding. I've set some um, padding and margin there and on border radius, we have some values set there as well. And what I really like about quickly is that instead of clicking through all of this, I can just hover on this class, this code editor button and see everything that's applied at the breakpoints for this class. And I can actually edit it directly in here. So I could update my background color here from the sand to red and it updates. And if I go back to the background, it's updated it down here. Really uh, like that feature. I haven't really seen that in any other page builders. The last thing that I wanna do here is come back to my heading. It's a H1, we don't want that. Let's make it a H3. And we probably wanna add some gap around our columns. So I'll come back to the parent here that contains all of our columns and I'll go under layout and then down here where I can set row and column gap, I'm just gonna add some variables. So size medium for the row and the column. So now we have that spacing. And these variables I've just created in one of my global style sheets that I created in quickly. Uh, again, I don't wanna get too off topic with the grid here, but you can just do this very easily by going up the top here and then going over to your global classes and style sheets and then global styles. And then in my style book style sheet, if I just uh, make that a little bit bigger, I've just put them in there and then you have access to all of them in the builder. So just pretty basic stuff in there. But now that we have our grid here, I'm gonna go ahead and just get this column here. So I'll just right click and copy and let's just paste it here and then paste it there. I'm just pasting over the top of these. So pasting it there, sort of replacing and pasting it there. I might scale this down just a little bit more. So let's just say like 60% so we can see what's going on. So as you can see, we're pretty close to the layout that we want. Now let's go ahead and go to the tablet version. And this is where we need to make some changes. So to do that, we'll click back on the parent item here and then go to the primary and then to the grid editor. And when we're on the tablet, we want to make this two fractions. So the horizontal axis or the grid is divisible by two, so 50% columns. And then down here, we can just drag things into place. So I'll drag the second column over here. And then this one's going to come down a little bit. And then this one's over here. And then those last two columns are there. And then this one is going to be there. And then if we go to mobile, we want them to stack on top of each other. So across the grid, the horizontal, it'll be one. And then you can see these are all just stacked on top of each other. If we exit out of this, and I publish this page, and then we view it on the front end. Here's our grid, and if we pull it in, you can see that it goes like this, and then it collapses like that. We have our two columns stacked underneath, and if we pull it in, it then goes to one column where they're like this. So that's a quick look at the grid editor inside of Quickly. Now, I really enjoy using Quickly. If I had to summarize it, it's sort of like the power of Bricks Builder, but based on the block editor. And what I really like about that is the elements and the styles and global classes that I create inside of Quickly, I have access to when I'm writing my blog post now, which was something that over time, I sort of found myself struggling a little bit to do because I design things in Bricks Builder, but not have access to them in my blog post when I was writing them. I just felt a bit disjointed and Quickly seems to to bridge that gap. 
If you want to try quickly, there is going to be a link in the description below. And if you're looking for something else to watch today, I would recommend watching this video on your screen and definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see more page builder, theme, and WordPress content in general. So I'll see you in this video.